Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am doing a voiceover today because my husband was working on some um, improvements in my studio and banging and crashing while I was trying to do a video. So hence the voiceover. I'm doing a very large canvas today. It is 121 long. 121 centimeters long and I believe 60 centimeters wide may I might double check that but I believe so it's so that's hence why I cannot get it in the frame so I just want to welcome you and thank you to my channel and I'll walk you through this process uh, with a little bit of music also so you don't get bored with my voice but I basically coated the canvas, even though my canvases are purchased pre-gessoed, so meaning they have an undercoat on them. I just wanted to go over with silver because this was going to be my background colour. So it is going to be a bright and beautiful um, pour, something bright and uplifting, sort of with a Hawaiian kind of theme. Um, but I didn't want to cover the whole of the canvas. But if you know me in the pouring community, you know that I'm not very good with leaving negative space. So, um, you know, wish me luck on this one. I will let you just watch me pour the paint and um, go through the motions and I will jump in with anything that I believe that is beneficial for you to know. So please just stay um, comfortable grab yourself a drink and just sit back and relax this and watch the video so enjoy
Okay, so I've poured those beautiful, delicious colours on there. Um, they are the colours from a Montmartre range mixed with my normal pouring medium. The um, recipe and method is in the drop down box in the description underneath this video. And I am now, yes, going to give it the kiss of life. And. Um, hopefully bring this painting to life so I hope you enjoy and yeah just kick back and relax So at this moment in time, for whatever reason, was in Jilly's crazy head, she decides to um, blend in some uh, other colours from, as you see, the um, used paint on the side. I actually not really happy with my decision there, so I may very well go back in to my dried painting and um, just re-go back over that with the silver again, because not quite... Um, liking what I did at this point in time but it's all personal um, but yeah I think I may change it on the dried painting now so just let you continue to watch and enjoy just about done here so I hope you enjoyed that little journey give me um, your ideas on this particular one I'll give you the uh, photos of the whole thing and let me know what you th think um, I'm not liking that I went in and meddled with the silver bits but you kind of let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and I'll be here again tomorrow so um, please join me so take care people, bye for now.